dead rising watchtower so that name sounds familiar this is actually an adaptation of the popular video game series dead rising and i actually think this is more or less a sequel to the to the game rather than a kind of a, a kind of remake of this, the original story so I, I believe that you can probably put this in continuity with the actual games themselves so uh paul and he will give us a brief plot summary okay so um there is um basically not an outbreak as such but the zombie virus has been about um and they have found a um kind of way to prevent it <clears throat> coming out through this um it's called zombrax yeah which is actually in the games yeah yeah yeah, yeah. She's, so, a PS, she's a PlayStation person, yeah, not an Xbox person. No, sadly not. Although I have what he did rise on for quite some time. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so it goes about you know this reporter is investigating um, what's going on, trying to basically get a story so that he can get himself you know well known again. Um, and he happens to stumble across um, one of these kind of like Zombrax um, areas where people are getting it, uh, getting the the drug, and um, actually the drug's not working. And he happens to be in in the midst of um, people turning into zombies, and um, you know it kind of follows the story from there of him trying to get out of this area um, to be able to get to the quarantine zone, um, and it follows all his antics. The, the plot's actually, um, although that seems fairly simple, the plot's actually fairly, mm. a lot more complex than yeah. that. You've actually got a lot of things going on here. One of the pluses, I would say, with this film is that there's a lot of plot here mm. compared to your traditional style zombie films. Yep. Um, on the very sort of the basic level, you could say it's kind of an escape, you know, trying to run away from the zombies as most zombies, you know, films yeah. tend to be. But as well as the kind of that you've got on the outside you have you actually have frank west who was the character from the original game so this play takes place after that mm -hmm. and he's basically sort of being interviewed trying to sort of give updates about what it's like to be sort of stuck in this kind of like sort of situation and kind of quite an amusing sort of uh, sort of segment in a kind of you know, a tv studio uh, so you've got kind of his kind of plot going on uh, the main plot first, as Polly says focuses on the yeah. character called Chase who is this reporter trying to get this big scoop and his kind of partner yeah. and w within that story there's so many sort of different subplots you've basically got um there's this kind of city's walled, like walled off yeah. so there's no there's no like escape uh, and you've got this conspiracy story about this kind of what's going on you know and then people having people having sort of secret agendas i can't say too much of that obviously spoiling it you've also got this kind of like gang of of kind of like mad max types in there who have their own sort of plan you've got this kind of mother in there sort of searching for um her sort of missing daughter in there played by virginia madsen um you know you've got basically the the, the the film focuses on kind of three main characters three like survivors if you like and they really all have their own sort of things going on basically um like the one of the, the other sort of female lead has got is actually uh, has been bitten previously yeah. and is using the zombrex for example there's a whole lot really going on mm. uh, so what did you what did you like about this movie um so uh, yeah as leo said you know i am a, a playstation uh fan but um i've always wanted to play dead rising um and i have watched people playing it and i actually have always really wanted the game um and i actually think from what i've seen and from what i get you know it stays actually really true to the game um you know the the weird weapons that you can construct um to the to the like there's a biker gang in it which i know um, i don't know if it's in the previous ones but i certainly know it's in the third game um you know it stays very true to the games which i really liked um and the humor i think they, they keep the sense of humor from the games in it as well which i really enjoyed yes the guy's lego t-shirt yeah but i thought that was pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things what, okay so the things I liked about this film are the plot complex and you, possibly your your typical kind of zombie films uh, so I think this is does a good job of kind of staying away from the, sort of the typical sort of prototypical especially sort of the lower budget sort of zombie films that you have on, on display here there's a there's a lot of a variety in action uh, there's a few kind of like boss zombies if you like you've got the clown zombie mm -hmm. um, things like that so there is 
there is some sort of variety in the kind of and the kind of this different sort of style kills and stuff and obviously as well as the actual zombies themselves you've got uh the kind of the military you've yeah. got the kind of the, the, the this kind of like mad max kind of biker gang as mm -hmm. well to contend with so there's all these sort of different kind of threats uh, as long as uh, as well as the kind of the internal strife and all that as well so there's a there's a, there's a lot going on um I think the characters are, are, are quite good. This has got a surprisingly good cast in it. Like I said, you've got Virginia Madsen, you've got Dennis Hayes, but there's a couple, there's a, there's a few, uh, the guy who plays Frank West, he's, he's, I've seen him in a variety yeah. of kind of different, uh, I forget the actor's name. Normally just um, yeah, he's only been in a variety of different kind of like uh, comedy things. Yeah. Um, it's the, the Chase's kind of female partner as well. I've seen in the couple. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of faces here you you recognise. Yeah. I think the the cast and the acting is all quite good. I think the effects are, are pretty good. There are a few occasions when you see it's clearly CGI blood, uh, but they use a mixture of of the kind of the practical and the sort of CGI. But you can kind of tell the, the, the sort of CGI, uh, the sort of CGI stuff as well. It has fairly good production values as well. There's you know there's a lot of z zombie extras. There's obviously a you know a, a, a big strong military. Mm. Um, presence in it as well there are loads and loads of easter eggs from the game here as well you'll see lego heads you'll see frank west statues sort of dotted around this is absolutely packed to the rim and it is, it is really a very faithful adaptation mm -hmm. of of the actual game yeah. like pointing to the way they sort of they, they can construct weapons and stuff as well yeah so is anything you didn't like about this film do you know what I think for the first time in a while we've done a review. No, not really. No. I was actually pretty. Uh, it kept me. You know, there wasn't any point when I got a bit bored or anything like that. But I mean, I mean, there's a couple of bits probably where the woman was going after her daughter. That was a little bit. Uh, but other than that, no, I quite we really enjoyed it. I, I do have a couple of. I do have a couple of negatives. First one. This movie is obsessed with GoPro. So this so this uses if you don't know what GoPro is, these kind of little minis that you can att have attached mm. to things. And there's there's so many shots here of where they kind of stick the GoPro on the end of a weapon and things like that. And, and a couple of shots I can kind of deal with, but I think this one overdoes it. To be honest, there's, there's, just, there's way too many, especially in the first half of this film. It's just, it gets really annoying, if, if, I, if I'm completely honest. Far too much sort of GoPro style camera work. You know what I mean, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the actual sort of traditional camera work as well, sometimes is a little bit on the kind of, Sh overuse of shaky cam as well as particularly in the kind of the fight scenes uh, again uh, this basically makes me I did not a massive fan of the camera work in, in general to be honest with you in regards to um, I think maybe it gets a little bit bogged down with so much plot I know this is a really weird thing to say in a zombie film but I think maybe there's so many sort of sort of plot threads i mean you don't some of the kind of the it's secondary characters you don't actually know what happens to them mm -hmm. um they're kind of left hanging i don't know if it's a setting up for a sequel necessarily but if it isn't some of these kind of characters sort of fates are somewhat unresolved um also i think there are some kind of quite there's some plot holes in this film um without kind of i can't really spoil anything without really going into too into too much detail but let me i'll give you just one trying to be vague so they so they're basically trying to sort of go through this conspiracy which i won't sort of say too much about but um not the proof they provide i think can, is is pretty uh easy to have been manipulated it's the i i wouldn't say it's certainly definite proof of w what they want to get without trying to give anything away You'll know what you know what I mean when I see when you see it. There's a few different sort of plot holes really that I just think come on. And I think as well if you're a zombie purist, some of these things may kind of somewhat irritate you. Uh, for example, the the zombies will use tools, so they'll use guns, it, they'll use axes and things like that. Um, so again, I think sometimes the zombie sort of purists may so they're maybe a little bit more intelligent sometimes um, than others. But they're kind of they act more like they do, I guess, in the game rather than the sort of the, um, the traditional zombie film, if that makes sense. So uh, I, had a, I had a couple of problems with it, but it is a fun film, and like I said, it's nice to see a zombie film trying to have a little bit more to it than just the kind of typical running away from zombies. So how would you score it? Nine out of ten. Ooh, she's going high. Uh, I'll go seven out of ten for this one. I don't think it was quite that good. But uh, anyway, have you seen it? Leave us a comment, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.